This is X's House, what is up my family? My name is Xavier, I'm a full-time reseller. And on this channel, I like to find stuff at garage sales, thrift stores, estate sales to flip for a profit. If you like stuff like that, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm gonna be doing this once or twice a week. Today I go to a couple thrift stores and I find some amazing stuff. I like finding Vince's toys whenever I can and I was very surprised today. Um, the first thing I find was a Mars Attack toy, uh, which brought me right back to the 90s. But without further ado, let's get into the store and make some money. All right, so right off the bat, I get some cra <laughs> the craziest find of the year, this Mars Attack figure. It's the Supreme Martian Ambassador. It is the craziest find I so far of this year, January and I found, find one of these, the craziest vintage toys I have ever found. And next I find uh, this DualShock 3, easy pickup, 5.99, I'll, I'll sell it for 20. All right, and then I find this 10 port USB charger thing. Uh, there's, I found some black ones brand new sold for 83, so I figured maybe uh, 20, 30 bucks. All right, and next I find, oh, this, this ball clock. It was kind of crazy. I, I seen it and I'm like, what is this? And just from ex my experience now, um, I just said, let me go ahead and grab it. There's so, some that sold for 115, uh, one that sold for 95. You know, I seen this, I said, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and pick up, pick it up. It ended up not working, but I seen some, uh, fur parts only being able to be sold. And this actually, these are walkie talkies and they're selling for about 20 bucks a piece. So I, I think I should be able to get 40 bucks for the pair. Uh, and then I find an Atari uh, flashback console. This I have sold before for about 30 bucks. Uh, this guy has it for $24.99. I, I have sold it myself for $30. So I, I expect to to get about $30, I think I paid about $5 at the Goodwill. All right, this, I took a, a shot in the dark. It's a, uh, a model boat. It was open, but um, I didn't find exact comps. This looks old, at least uh, from the 90s. I don't know, even probably even uh, later. Um, I'm gonna shoot for about 50 bucks on on eBay and see if any I uh, get any bites. Uh, I should at least get thirty dollars for this. I, I, I'm guessing for at least thirty dollars. I paid I think five ninety nine something like that. All right, and I got this uh, GoPro little tripod mount. I should be able to get about fifteen for that, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually keep it. Then I spot these shoes over here, um, some Nike, just do it on the side there. Um, not a bad pickup for $10. Didn't find no exact comps, but I should be able to flip these for about $30 plus shipping. You know, you gotta hit these carts when you see them, man. I seen this uh, little Thomas the Train Cranky. Uh, there's people selling it for about $15. Uh, one sold for about $40 uh, complete. I think I have one little cart. Yeah, the little, and it was a little metal cart. Um, that, it, it's missing some pieces. So I, I think I'm going to uh, try to get at least 20 bucks for it. Uh, plus shipping. See if anybody bites it. It might sit around for a while, but I like I like selling toys. So I'm I'm cool with that. All right, now I'll go here over here to the t-shirts, uh, see what I could find. I find this um, 
Greg Norman, I believe is the tag on there. I've sold these before for about $15. So I should be able to get it for about $15. This uh, imaginary has got some good comps. I didn't find the exact one, uh, but I should be able to try to, I'm gonna try to get about $30 plus shipping on that one. So it's gonna be like $35 shipped. And then I found this uh, Nike, uh, nice graphic on the front with the, with the, the basketball hoop. Uh, they were charging $5.99. I'll probably get about $20 for that uh, t-shirt. All right, next I find this uh, Mario uh, Mario Bros. 85, here we go. Um, Super Mario 85, here we go. All right, so I didn't see any comps uh, for this, this uh, t-shirt, but I should be able to get at least $15. I'm thinking I'm gonna try to shoot high for uh, $25, $30, because it is a pretty cool little tee. It's not vintage, but it, I think it was from 2016. We'll see. And I found another Greg Norman shirt. This one has a pocket. So I think you could get about $20 for that shirt since it has the pocket and that's free shipping. Find this uh, Old Navy collect collectible tee. Um, it's nice. I mean, it ain't no nothing serious. It's, I just like the graphic. Uh, I seen some one person trying to sell one for about uh, for $17 plus shipping. I'm gonna shoot around that that price range. And I had I found this uh, Champion Heritage tee. Uh, there's one that sold for uh, about twenty dollars. I'll show you there. Um, it was they did accept a uh, offer, but I should be able to get that. Yo, nice find. Oh man, okay. crazy, right? Uh, I'm gonna guess you be doing the flipping and stuff. Yeah. Yo, it's crazy that time ago, but yo, Goodwill has gone up in prices on a lot. Of this yeah, it's man. Crazy, yeah, even the, uh, I mean. It was 15. It? Yeah, it's crazy, man. Dad. I can't believe it. I grew up on that stuff. That's crazy. Man. That's crazy, man. That's a good find. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, that guy seen the uh, Mars Attack figure. He was, <laughs> that, that thing is cool, man. That was one heck of a find for my first find. And here I actually pick up uh, this uh, weather or s some kind of. Um, some kind of weather thing or some something for the yard or some I, i'm not really sure what it was but when i seen the price tag on this 74.99 for this thing you could get it cheaper on ebay uh you seen what it was there i opened it up just to see what kind of condition it was it was a weather state center accurate um, I opened it up to, just to see what kind of state it was. It was, it did look new, uh, but either way, new, you would, it's still like a hundred dollars for, for new on eBay. I'm not going to pay $74.99 uh, for that. All right. And I'm here at my little hidden gem here. Um, I find some good stuff here. Not, I come here maybe once a week. Uh, I see this little, this big old uh, new wave type type oven here. Um, I look it up, but in my in the back of my head, I was like, I'm not gonna get this. It's way too big. I do ship bigger items, but I'm trying to uh, stay away from the item, the bigger items that are not. You have to at least get two hundred dollars for it. You know, a huge item like that is not worth storing. If you're only going to get 70 to 50 to 70 dollars, you know what I'm saying? Just scanning around and then I see I, I'm looking for the DVDs. It's usually right there on the bottom right, but they changed this location and got this little bookshelf. They don't have many, but I find a gem here. It's new sealed Xbox 360, Halo 3 and Forza uh, 3. Um, I should be able to get about $40 for that one. It's sealed. And I got this uh, Gears of War. Every, uh, all the DVDs and games in this store is $2. So I figured I, I should be able to get $10 for that. And then I see, I almost missed this. That Canon Elf 190S IS. I should be able to get 120. I actually uh, didn't get it at right there because it was behind there and there was nobody there. And I find this uh, Tebco vintage, uh, spinning reel, um, fishing reel. 
good comps on that i think there was one that sold for 60 there's there's one listing active and it uh it's for 499 and they have like five different five of the vintage and this is my friends is why you want to actually try to get relations relationships with these uh thrift stores especially the small ones because this guy he brought these out to me because he knows i look for games and he actually looked uh came brought these out to me to tell me look at these see if you want one and then then he finally took them back to inventory and and i bought them but if i didn't build that relationship with that guy i probably wouldn't have seen that and this right here i seen some turtle feet i, I was like oh man some turtles but they were the newer ones and i'm not looking for the newer turtles man i'm sorry so the first thing I find is the best thing I find. Just take a look at this thing. Look at the detail in this thing. I'm gonna price mine on the higher end of the spectrum. Uh, there's some on eBay that were sold for about $120 and that's where I'm gonna price mine. I will not sell this for any less. I am in love. <laughs> look at this thing. Look, this is amazing. Another thing I wanted to mention is that I did end up getting that Canon ELF camera. I paid $20 for it. I should be able to get about $120 ship. So I love the profits on that. I definitely had to get that. I spent about $200 at both of those stores and I should be able to profit about $500 when it's all said and done. I'm happy with how today went and I hope you enjoyed the content. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. But until next time, this is your boy X and I am out.